That's not fair. I said it, and I meant it. Life. A friend of mine has an MBA, just he like me. We started at college together, but I went into the workforce and finished up at another school. He did his last two years at the University of Arkansas up in Fayetteville, where he joined a fraternity. We reconnected after Facebook came about. One of his fraternity brothers went to work for Walmart, and after spending 15 years working for Coca-Cola in Jacksonville, Florida, moving up in the ranks, my friend wanted to move back to Northwest AR. He asked his fraternity brothers for help. And they landed him a cush job with Walmart corporate offices. He had experience. He had skill. He had the same qualifications as a hundred other candidates. And he had an unfair advantage. He knew a guy. We all know a guy for something. It helps. Car breaks down? I got a guy. Need a hookup for something that fell off a truck? I know somebody. There are advantages to knowing people. And they are not fair advantages. I was talking with a mom about why she wanted to live in a certain school district in Little Rock. She said it was to help her kids. The timeline went something like this. They go to this elementary school, meet some friends, and know them through high school. Then off to college on the hill, which is UA, the one most known outside of the state. So when her kids move back to Little Rock, they will know people who can help them navigate the job market, housing market, etc., etc. It works. I've seen it over and over again with my friends from high school and college. I even had it at my old corporate job. I got in good with a senior executive and he helped me move up. Our connection was running and smart-assed comments. It wasn't fair. We just got along, and I was as good at the job as a dozen other people. All things being equal, we want to work with people we like. We want to help people we know. That's the fair thing to do.